Would you like to discover how you can use ChatGPT to come up with new, winning, top-selling product ideas for your shop? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to use it to find keywords, photo ideas, and even write an amazing description. ChatGPT is awesome. It's gonna save you so much time. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing I wanna do is show you the product that I'm going to use as an example. So I found this little custom bobblehead, and I thought this thing was so cool, and that it was such a unique and interesting product. Um, so I wanted to see if ChatGPT could help me find some new ideas for the product. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna enter in my prompt. And I found that the best way to do a prompt is using four things, okay? First, you wanna give it the goal of what it is you're trying to accomplish. Number two, you wanna give it the return format of how you want it to actually give the information back to you. Number three, you want to give it some warnings, like some things to avoid. And then number four is the context dump, okay? So for this little custom bobblehead, that's what I'm going to do. So I started with this. Um, I want a list of new product ideas for my Etsy shop where I sell custom bobbleheads. Anyone can upload a photo of themselves or a pet or a friend, and I will create a custom bobblehead for them. I am looking for new ideas for how I can offer the bobbleheads, such as a different item the bobblehead could be attached to such as a pen or other objects like that so that's the first part the goal of what I'm trying to do and of course it does include some context as well so the next thing I put in there is the return format how do I want it to actually send me back this information for the product idea give me a keyword title I would use for the product an example of how I could stage the product photo for it what type of customer would buy the product, and five keywords someone would search to find it. So that's gonna give me a really complete idea for a new Etsy listing. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is give it some, like some warnings, some things to avoid so it doesn't waste my time. And that, I came up with this. Be careful to make sure the product ideas are stuff people would actually purchase or have shown a history of purchasing because I don't want it to just give me a bunch of weird ideas that no one is ever gonna spend their money on. And then the last part is the additional context so it kinda understands who I am. For context, I have made 4,039 sales in my Etsy shop, custom bobblehead dogs. Now that's not my shop, that's the shop uh, of this custom bobblehead. I'm just presenting this to ChatGPT as if I am the owner of this shop. My most popular products are beer bottle openers, wine corks, bobbleheads of a couple celebrating a wedding, fantasy bobbleheads like a wizard or witch, cake toppers or pet figurines. So there we go, we got the perfect prompt. I'm gonna pop that into ChatGPT and now it's gonna go to work helping me come up with a bunch of new amazing product ideas uh, for my Etsy shop. So let's see what it came up with. So the first thing it says is custom bobblehead pen holder. And that's kind of an interesting idea. So it says display the bobblehead mounted on a sleek pen holder with a stylish desk setup. So that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that one. That could work well, you know. Um, let's see, next one, custom bobblehead card dashboard. That's the most classic bobblehead ever in every movie. There's always a little bobblehead on the dashboard. Custom bobblehead golf tee holder. Now that's an interesting idea. I don't play golf, so I don't really know how the golf tee is set up, but you know, for somebody who does, um, that might be an interesting idea. Custom bobblehead phone stand. That's kind of funny. You could have a bobblehead that holds your phone. That'd be really nice. Um, custom bobblehead cake knife handle, okay? That would be funny for if somebody was getting married and they wanted to have a really unique little thing like that. Custom bobblehead toothbrush holder. Um, custom bobblehead chest set pieces. That would be really next level. So that's a good idea right there. Now that would be a much more expensive gift, but you should always have something in your Etsy shop that's really expensive um, that for people who wanna spend a lot of money, if they really like what you have to offer, that could be really huge. So if we look at this shop, their average product starts at about $45 and it goes up in price according to how big the bobblehead is, but they pretty much are all $44. So if you did a whole entire chess set, um, and that might be, I don't know how many chess pieces there are. There's probably like 12 on each side. So that would be like having 24 bobbleheads. You could sell that for like $1,000. Like that would be a big order. 
uh, maybe even $2,000 to get a whole chess set. And it could be all their friends and family and all these different people. Um, or it could be maybe just a bunch of the same people or something or like a family style. So so are you starting to see how uh, ChatGPT can get your creative juices flowing? You know, you could do a chess set with your kids and you got the husband and the wife is the king and the queen. And then the older kids are like the the bishops and the uh, and the knights. And then like the baby is like all the pawns or something, you know. I don't know. Maybe that's a little evil, but it's kind of a great idea. Let's see. Custom bobblehead. Uh, grill spatula. That's a great idea. Let's see. Custom bobblehead fishing lure. And then I like this one here. Custom bobblehead cake topper. And I like that it said sports edition. Now, that's a really interesting idea because to me, sports edition is like a theme, right? You could have sports edition, soccer edition, wrestling edition. So I want to go ahead. I want to play off of that a little bit and ask it to give me some more ideas related um, to like what other kind of editions could it come up with, okay? So I'm going to ask it. I like the idea of sports edition. What are 10 other editions I could create it for? Okay, so it came back with superhero edition, which I think that's a great idea. Who doesn't want to be a superhero? That's really clever. Gamer edition. Gamers are practically like the modern day superheroes now. We've got musician edition. If somebody is an aspiring musician, that could be really cool. You could have them playing their guitar. Graduation edition. Doctor, nurse edition. Firefighter, police officer edition. Um, ooh, fitness gym edition. Now, I really like that idea because I like to work out. I like to go to the gym. So if somebody gave me a bobblehead of myself like working out or something, I would think that was really, really cool. So that gives you an idea of how it can give you a lot of different themes and ideas, and you can start to build towards those and work towards those. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and get some ideas. What would that one look like? What does the gym edition bobblehead look like? look like. So I entered in, create me a photo example of a gym edition bobblehead doing a bench press. And here's what it came back with. This little guy, he's, it's not quite a bench press, um, but now do you see it's actually bringing it to life. And this is a pretty good photo. Now, what I don't like about it is that it shows the bar like behind his head that doesn't really quite look right. Um, and nobody does a bench press like that. So I'm going to ask it to fix that. So I typed in, place the bar above his head so it doesn't look like it's going through his head. And here we go. Now we've got a great looking bobblehead. It's above his head. He's looking super jacked, super fit. Um, and that is a great bobblehead idea. So now it's taking it to the next step where it's not just giving you an idea. It's actually giving you photo ideas to go along with it. Okay. Um, but I want to get some more photo ideas than that one. So I'm going to say, give me five more photo examples. And what it did, um, instead of giving me um, actual photos, it gave me text, which I don't want it to give me text. I want to actually see what it looks like. So what I have found is sometimes if you just tell it, um, if you give it text like this, create me a collage of four images of different examples for this product photo. So I found that when you ask it to do a collage, it will create you a collage with multiple images. And look at what it came back with. So now we've got four great ideas for the bobblehead. Here's one with all of his little gym gear, his towel, his water bottle. Here's another one. It says first place. He's got his trophy on. Looks like he's drinking beer, which is kind of funny. Here's another one of him in front of a whiteboard, and then this one in a locker. So obviously these images, you can't just take them and just put them right onto your product, but it makes it so much easier when you're going out there to shoot photos. Um, sometimes it can be very difficult to get your product and your angles just perfect, but when you've got this example, now you have something that you're looking forward to. Now you have a vision in mind that you're trying to recreate, and I think this makes it so much more helpful, um, especially when you're trying to create a new product. So I'm really impressed with this. I think this looks 
looks absolutely fantastic. I've got five photo ideas. I've got a great new product that um, I hadn't really thought of that I don't even know if it, it actually exists out there. Um, and this is a great looking product right here. So the next thing that we want to do is now we want to go out there and find some keywords for the product, okay? So I asked it, this is great. I, I told ChatGPT it's doing a great job, risen it up a little bit. Uh, create me a list of 10 long tail keywords that I could use for this product on my Etsy listing. Now, why do I say long tail keywords? Well, a lot of times, especially in a competitive niche, longer tail keywords, meaning a keyword that's like three words or five words or longer, generally do better. So for example, if you were gonna sell this cup, if you just do coffee mug, you're not gonna get like really you know great results because there's five million coffee mugs for sale on Etsy. Now, if you say um, purple custom logo coffee mug, that's purple custom logo coffee mug, that's five words. Now you've got a very specific and precise keyword and usually you get much better results. So that's what I did and look at the keywords that it came up with. Custom weightlifter bobblehead figurine, fantastic keyword really good personalized gym lover gift bobblehead another great keyword funny fitness bobblehead for bodybuilders um, custom workout themed bobblehead unique gym trainer desk decor figurine that one's kind of okay uh, personalized weight gifting lifting gift for him so a whole bunch of very good very specific precise keywords that are going to get my product to show up in front of the right people so those are really really good now this product is such a unique product um, I don't think I'm also gonna ask it to give me some um, not so long tail of keywords a little bit more generic because since it's super unique I don't think you need super specific keywords um, if you're selling a product that's in a very popular niche like like this then it's more necessary so let's see give me 10 not long tail keywords and here's what it came up with custom bobblehead so that one's too generic not gonna be very useful gym bobblehead pretty good fitness figurine pretty good weightlifting gift uh, too generic wouldn't be very useful bodybuilder decor doesn't really make sense workout collectible eh, it's okay but between the two between these regular keywords the generic shorter keywords and the long tail keywords you're gonna find a bunch of fantastic keywords that you can use on this listing okay now the next thing that I want to do I want it to actually generate a listing description for my product so I went to chat GPT and I said create me a description for this product that answers every question the buyer might have about the product and guys that's really the most important thing that you need to do when you're creating a description for your Etsy listing just answer all the questions they are gonna have about your product that's that's what people want to know how big is it how old is it how do I clean it how do I wash it what is it made out of um, all those are really the most common questions so here's what it came out to it even gave me a title for it custom gym bobblehead personalized weightlifting figurine fitness gift for gym lovers and let's see it started off with a nice little uh, you know text up here turn yourself or a friend into a powerlifting bobblehead looking for the ultimate fitness gift whether you're a bodybuilder, weightlifter, powerlifter, personal trainer, or gym enthusiast, uh, enthusiast, this custom gym bobblehead is the perfect way to bring humor and motivation to your space. Um, so I like that it already called out the people this is for, which makes it easier if you're buying a gift and you're looking for, you know, a gift for your bodybuilder boyfriend and you see this, you're like, oh, this is going to be perfect for him. They just told me right there. So that's a really great little thing. And it's hitting all of those keywords as well. So it's doing a fantastic job here. This handcrafted bobblehead figure uh, features a miniature version of you or a loved one lifting a barbell over their head. Perfect for the gym, desk, uh, workout room, trophy, trophy shelves, or a motivational gift. So then it says how it works. Upload a clear photo. Choose custom details such as your hair and skin tone. We will sculpt and create it for you, and we ship it fast worldwide. Product details, 67 inches, material, high-quality resin, the base style. So it gives you all of that stuff. Now, obviously, it's not going to get it absolutely perfect. So you can go in there and modify it, or you can even tell it to modify the description. You can say the bobblehead is actually four inches tall, modify the description, and it will just do that for you. 
Um, this is the perfect gift for enthusiasts, gym enthusiasts. It gives you the shipping and processing times and a bunch of frequently asked questions. Uh, can I customize the outfit, barbell, and base? Absolutely, you can customize everything. Do you make bobbleheads for women? Yes, of course. What kind of photos work best? Front-facing, high-quality photos. How long does it take to receive my order? Two to three weeks. So you see, guys, it's answering all of the questions, and it's coming up with questions you might not have even thought about your product. And this is a common problem. When you create your own product, you know everything about it, so you forget other people don't know everything about it. Um, so, for example, my products, uh, we sell nursery wall decals, and a lot of the questions we get, the most common question is how big is it? Even though every listing has a dimensions image showing the literal inches and in, in size of every single sticker, uh, people still ask that question all the time. Now, another popular question is how do I wash it? Like, can I scrub it down if my kids throw tomato sauce on it? Um, and then another question is, how do I stick it on the wall? So those are all really important questions. What material is it? And so on. So ChatGPT does a great job because it's going to come up with all the questions. And then you can just go in there and tweak them and make sure it has the right answers um, that are relevant to your shop. So in just a few minutes, guys, uh, ChatGPT came up with product ideas, photo ideas, keyword ideas and a listing description and now we have everything we need to do to go out there and build a great new listing for our shop um, what I would suggest you do is go take uh, this this approach and go try to come up with five product ideas for your Etsy shop and then build them out and when you follow this you're gonna have such a better foundation for creating your product because you already know what keywords you're trying to make it for you already know how to make your photos look you already know how what description you're going to use on it. This is going to save you a lot of time. It's going to get those creative juices flowing and it's going to help you make your shop a lot more successful. If you like that tip, please comment below. Um, let us know. Give us a link to your Etsy shop or tell it what it is that you sell in the comments below. And maybe in one of our future videos, um, we can even give you some tips and feedback for improving your own Etsy shop. Um, if there's certain things that you're struggling with, we read the comments, we check them out, and we want to help you guys grow and be more successful on Etsy. So leave a comment with a question or a curiosity you have about Etsy or a link to your Etsy shop and ask us if you like us to review your Etsy shop for you and give you feedback for new ideas and new photos and keywords and products and anything that you could do to make it better and we'll be happy to help. Again, I'm Charles Curry. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Like and subscribe.